Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to automatically add product to cart on your Shopify store. The first thing you will need to do is go onto your Shopify admin page as you can see right here. Then I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and tap right where you see add apps. After tapping on add apps, you are going to scroll down and you are going to select Shopify App Store. After selecting Shopify App Store, you will be redirected to this page. And what I want you to do next is tap right where you see the search bar at the top of the page and you are going to select Cartbot or you are going to type in Cartbot better yet. So type in Cartbot. After you have done that, I want you to select Cartbot right here, Auto Add to Cart. And you can see that it is highly rated and it also comes with a free plan. And with this free plan, let me show you the different features that you'll be able to access. For example, custom product conditions, flexible cart value limits, seamless subscription options, easy item replacements, and innovative reverse bot setup. And if you would like to go up to the paid plan, it costs $5.99. But for this example, all we'll need is the free plan. So we are going to tap right where we see Add App. After you have tapped on Add App, you are going to be redirected to a new page on which you are going to go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to select Install App. And once the app has been installed, I am going to show you how to set it up next. But just give it a few seconds to be installed. Once the installation is complete, we will be redirected to a new dashboard and I'll be showing you what to do from there. As you can see right here, it has now been set up. So all we'll need to do now, and again, you can see that we are on the free plan right here. All we'll need to do is tap on create bot. After you have tapped on create bot, you can see right here, you can add the bot name if you want. Then you will see the status, whether it is active or pause. Then you can see the priority sequence and the priority sequence, the app will run the bots by their priority sequence ascending. You might have to adjust this if you configure very similar bots. So whether you like it to run every 10 seconds or not, you can do that. And you can see the bot trigger right here, trigger the rule when a certain product or products are added to cart. So let's say for example, you want to add a free item whenever someone purchases a certain product, you can do that. So you can do that right there, or you can trigger the value when a customer's cart reaches a certain value. So if you would like to automatically offer a discount when the customer spends a certain amount, instead of them having to enter the discount code, you could simply tap on this example. And to access this one, you'll have to be on the paid plan. But for this example, we'll be using the products, which is the first option right there. Then you're going to scroll down and you will see when a customer cards include. And you're going to simply tap on select products. And I'm going to select this product right here. Then I'll tap on add. So you can see right there. So when a customer card includes this, they will also receive an free item and you can see you can replace this item if you want. So replace these products with the ones in the card below. If I would like to do that, all I would have to do is tap on that. But I don't want to do that. What we want to do is automatically add a second product. So we're going to tap right where you see select products. At the moment, I only have one product on my store. But you would select the second product that you would like to add right here. Then you are going to tap on add. After you have done that, all you will need to do now is scroll down and you can add more than one product. And you can see additional configuration. Apply bot only once per browser session. Or you would like to apply the bot for each fulfilled condition. Our bot works in reverse. You can select either one of these options. So by turning on the first option, this means that if they remove the added product, the bot won't add it again unless they close and reopen the browser. 
and the second option by applying the bot for each fulfilled condition. Turn this off if you want to apply this bot only once, even if the conditions were fulfilled multiple times. So I'm going to select the first option for this example, but you can select whether the first or the second option if you want. Then you're going to simply scroll down, then tap on Save Bot. And you can see right here, perform a quick check to see if the bot is working on your store. And we are going to tap on Yes. So we are going to tap right where you see Go to My Shop. And it is going to open up a new page. And all you'll need to do now, you'll need to find the product that you have paired it with, which is this product. So I'm going to simply select the product. I've selected the product. I'm going to tap on Add to Cart to see if it is working. And you can see right here, View Cart. So let me view it real quick to see if the item was added. And you can see that it was added twice. Hence why it is saying that is saying three. So if I were to clear it, let me clear it and do it again. So let me go back and show you. So if I were to tap on the item, then I were to tap on add to cart. You can see that it has now been added and that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. So all we have to do is go back and say yes. Then from there, you can simply tap right there to close it. And that's it. Once it has been saved, you now have that feature on your store. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.